This is a, uh, an older poem for me. Um, it was published in a magazine that came out of New York uh, called Central Park. It was edited brilliantly by uh, Stephen Paul Martin. Um, and it's, uh, it's called Magritte, uh, about the painter Magritte, the Belgian painter, a uh, surrealist painter. Uh, Magritte, part one, introduction to Magritte. I pick Magritte up from the bottom of a star. He is desolate with lavender. Who is it, he moans, touching my wrist with his wing? I help him to his feet, careful of his cedar leg. Behind his grimace, he is smiling, like a man drowning in warm water. Part two, first experience, dawn. We climb through a busted window. Magritte cuts his arm. Blood drops out like rusty pennies. A mermaid standing on wet gravel waves to us. He dots his bowler. The black paraffin that fills his head spills out. This always happens. What's in your palm, he asks. She opens it. It's a baby oyster covered in cobweb. Part three, second experience, mid-morning. The day is as gray as a million salmon eggs. One sun pot building catches my attention. No, he says, under this arch. We cobble our way through old streets, past vegetable merchants, occasional hunchbacks, daughters yet to be consecrated. Arriving at the pier, I see a sailboat in dead wind. That is pathos, the Greek says, pointing to a barnacle. Part four, the woman. She folds and unfolds her kerchief. Folding her eyes in her lap, her fingers are long and drawn and thin like hollow reeds or scabbards. She is all meekness, all pastel. We see her at the scaffold, darkening in the air, where the clouds are heaving like minstrels and the hawks watch as they fly. Her majesty derives from open clouds, she derives from twilight. We salute her in tandem and gasp as her voice rises and rises into our eyes. Part five, Toledo. That evening, stepping, stepping over lengthening shadows, we're in Toledo, where the moon appears as the white bone of a rose, where four clouds create the horizon, where four sounds echo through the trees. At the curtain of the city, we come across a thin strand of finger belonging to El Greco. Give that to the woman, says Magritte. She has more need of the digit than we. Part six, bedtime narrative. And on that day, the creator said to speech, what makes your skin flat like the river? I shall give you wounds to perform in your flesh so that you may never be plain to me. And he was pleased with the lesion which he called silence and touched his lips to the sky. That place today is forbidden to birds. Part seven, waking. Now the tendon of God is stretched to plain view. A million onions have been carried to the mirror. Long birds fly in broken formation. All is amethyst and milk. Without warning, the white sword crashes down on orthodoxy. The sky splits open like hell's abortion. A Saracen sun advances on Magritte. Oh.